today we're about to change the brake light switch on this 2013 Infiniti G37 easy peasy you all you do is twist it pop it off put the new one twist put it down twist whatever um, you, you'll see what I'm talking about let's get it okay you see how the brake light is on some people were driving a highway like that that's me the brake switch is messed up so if yours is like that this will be this is on that's on this on right to get to the brake switch you will have to back the seat up if you're you know make to make more space in here let's back the seat all the way back okay oh yeah that's the new switch right there so people get from the dealer you can get it aftermarket okay you see how this have four pin you gotta match it with the one that's down there so you find a four pin one take it off and we're gonna replace it with this one let's get to it you see two down there you'll be a little confused but it's not confusing because one of them is two pin one of them is four so you go right here to your brake pedal you look up and these are it right here you see there's one and two the one on your left right here this is the one so you will unplug this one to make sure it's that one you could unplug it and look at the back tail tail light see if it's off okay so let's okay this is my other hand take this off oh shit boom okay take that off check the back you see see how the tail light is off that's how you know it's the one okay so let's remove that okay To remove this, you have to twist it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta twist it like that, boom, and push up. That is it. Easy as that. This is like the OEM one. I got the aftermarket one. It's the difference, you see? It's the aftermarket. This is the actual Nissan one. If you want, you can get the OEM one. But I got this from the parts store. Okay, let's put it in same way you took it out okay it's going in twist Boom. go in there put it down in the hole push down so we go in the hole just twist it like that boom Okay, now connect your connector. Just like that. Boom. Make sure the pedal is touching it. See, make sure. Okay, there you go. Boom. Just like that. See? Just like that. So you press on it, brake should be on. So when you let go, the brake light should be off. Okay, let's test. Test, test. Let's check if the light's still on. Should be off like this. Boom. No more light staying on. See? None of them are on. Now let's pre press on the brake, see if the light works. It should work. Okay, so if you don't have anybody to hold the brake, like me, put a pole there. Move the seat up. You're really supposed to put like a thing here so you don't mess up the seat, you know. But it'll be all right. This is gonna be a few seconds. Okay, just go up with the seat, not too much, cause you don't want to dent inside the leather. Oh, uh, put it down and let's check. Boom. There you go. Back on. See, everything's back on. Boom, 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 and. One more time, put this back, put no pressure on the brake, take this out, and it is off. Boom, 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 it's off. So it started raining, so I have to, you know, finish this off in the car. Yeah, okay, so and that was it, how to replace the brake light, the brake light switch on the Infinities. Got to change that sensor, and it should be good. Sometimes it could be a short somewhere, but most of the time, 
it's the break switch. Right now, comment below. If you have any questions, hit me on Instagram, Drew's Mechanics. And don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe. Later.